Oh, I didn't turn. Oh, Danny. <laughs> It's not always raining days like this When there's no one to bed And there will be days like this When everything falls into place Like the flake on the switch But my mama told me There'll be days like this When everyone is up front And they're not going to oh. I should start <laughs> asking you your name. That'd be a good place. Oh, uh, my name's Torin. I'm 14, and I live in Whitney near Oxford. My name's Torin. I'm 14 years old. I live with my dad and my sister. For like three musketeers. Yeah. <laughs> Cameron's very protective of Torin. I would say she's her biggest fan, but I'm her biggest fan. She's a great kid. Thanks for always like being there and supporting me. I really All appreciate right. it. Right. Were well, you cheerleaders? Are you the biggest fan? I started playing the guitar when I was about 11. Always thought she would put the guitar down and do something else, but uh, she's always stuck with it. And then one day we realised uh, that she could sing. She was asked to play Wendy in Peter Pan. I was filming in the audience and not knowing that she was going to sing the song, but a guitar appeared on stage. Everybody sat down and she sang the whole song and I didn't realise that she could sing. She, oh, everybody was amazed by her. Those boys like me are free. The truth uh, is that that was her mum and I got to see her sing that performance, but her mum passed away a week later. And uh, she she threw herself into music as a way of coping. She started to write songs, and there's always been a, an element of Pauline uh, in there. The first song that she ever wrote was a song about a young couple meeting when they were 16 and falling in love, and her mum and I met when we were 16. <laughs> it's very emotional, but... Uh, she would have been so proud of her. There's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. I'm really, really nervous, but... Everyone around me that tells me that I can do it, it really keeps me going. There are no words to describe how proud I am of her. Oh, I'd love to make my dad proud, my sister, and my mum. I'd love to. I was screaming, Danny, Danny! I know. I know. I, do you I know what? You do you know turn. what? I'm annoyed at myself. Suddenly I'm like, oh, I didn't turn. Oh, Danny. <laughs> How long have you been singing? For about two years. Playing guitar for about three, but um, I've been playing for about wait, two. Wait, wait, wait. Only three years on the guitar, only two years singing? Uh, yes. So, like, what made you, like, you know, I'm just gonna do this? Uh, people like you. Um, the people that you, like, inspire me to be who I want to be and to just keep going no matter what happens. Ah, oh, that is the best. Your tone is so interesting. You know sometimes you hear singers and you know who they are immediately? I think you have, yeah, that distinctive thing. Thank you so it's much. Beautiful, and your pitch was amazing, and your timing was great, and you were playing guitar. <laughs> I loved your voice. Like, there were some bits I was like, what, that's crazy. 
Like you did these little trill things. There's so many notes in a short space of time that made me like go like, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I, you know, <laughs> I don't need a oh, pitch. Yeah, I uh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much for turning for me. Hi guys, she's here. <laughs> Welcome to Team Melanie C. Hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel a little bit nervous actually. How do you think we feel? Oh my God, it's a Spice Girl. Don't tell the others. But I think the winners in this team. <laughs> that air was so Fiona has one of those voices I'd love to have. My friend Joshua was in Team Pixie last year, and watching Josh inspired me so much to like want to join the Voice Kids as well. She can sing anything. I think Dana could be my secret weapon. From the first note she hit, I was like, what? I'm normally like a really shy person. Your voice doesn't sound like you're shy. You just nailed it! When there's no one complaining, there will be days like this. Often when people listen to singers, they're really impressed with riffing and high notes. But with Torin, it's something more personal. There'll be days like this. Yeah. My mum passed away and uh, she threw herself into music as a way of coping. It's something that really invites you in to experience that emotion and to connect with it. And she's just naturally gifted. I just came back from a lovely trip in the Milky Way. Mila's the youngest, but her voice is quite mature for her age. It has this kind of like jazzy style. Santa Claus is coming to when she talks, everyone thinks that she is a bit older than she is. Thanks for picking me. I'm really happy. <laughs> the song that we are going to be singing is Proud Mary. Yes! It's not like a drowsy ballad. It's more, you know, energy, and I'm so excited to add my own thing to it. I'm really excited for this song, and I'm ready to sing it. Have you heard of it? Never. Don't you worry, because you are going to kill it. It will keep on turning. Proud Mary is such an important song to me. My mum, she's also a singer. And I've grown up listening to mum singing Tina Turner up on stage so many times. What do you think? Let's get into it. Left a good job in the city. I have four very strong singers, but they're very, very different. Things might have been. Torin adds a very special dynamic. She's a real storyteller. <laughs> In the city. Danette is actually quite shy, but then when she sings, she hits it like no perfect straight away. I'm a runner, I'm a runner. This song's great for Fiona. She can really showcase her voice from the rasp to the riffing. Mila wasn't that familiar with the song, but by the time we sung it through, she was being all confident. <laughs> She was throwing out a woo and a yeah. I was like, go on, girl. The way to get the best out of each of you is to be a team. And I'm very experienced in that because I was a Spice Girl, right? And we always knew when we came together, it really enabled each of us to shine. I'm excited to sing this song with the girls. As much as we are battling each other, we also are a team. So I was thinking, should we do a little bit of dancing all together? Should we channel Tina? Only one person is going to go through to the final. But if the girls can't support each other, nobody's going to shout. Elated. What I think I've found is my little Spice Girls. That's what it feels like. The overall feeling I get when I'm watching you is just joy. The energy is amazing, but let's not let it interfere with the vocals. A little bit of pitching, a little bit of timing is going. Let's just be careful. 
everything we talked about, supporting each other, being strong, being a team, you've done that so much more than I ever could have hoped for. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> so, well done. Melanie got a bit emotional at rehearsal. That made me feel so happy. I don't even know how to explain it. I thought to myself, we did a good job here. <laughs> Melanie, we've uh, prepared a little song for you. When have you had time to do this? Go on, take it away. La, 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 la. Coming into the show, I didn't know what to expect, and I've ended up with four girls, and actually, it feels really good. When you're feeling sad and low. They're such individuals, but they really look after each other, and you can see little friendships forming. Colors of the world! Spice up your life! Now, I've got to pick one of my girls to go through to the final. <laughs> what am I going to do? It is sad that only one of us can get through to the final, but I think I'd be quite happy to lose to any of them. I want to make Melanie emotional and proud when she sees me perform. Stand out, I'm gonna really have to amp up the energy, so I really have to channel my inner Tina Turner. In this battle, I'm gonna bring energy, attitude, and I'm really gonna get this wheel turning. If they perform this the way I know they can, it's gonna be immense. Are you ready for this, audience? Yes! Yeah. From Team Melanie C, giving it some girl power, it's Torin, Dana, Fiona, and Mila. Let the battle begin. these shoes but I had to get up and dance because that was next level. I want to see it again. <laughs> this is exactly why I absolutely love this show because you get blown away every time. The talent is insane. I was really, really like 
inspired Mila. I think you're gonna be an amazing artist when you get older. Fiona, like, so much soul. Donna, like, so much fierceness. And then Torin, like, whoa. You were just electric. Every single one of you guys were awesome. I'm so proud of these girls. Not only are they so brilliant, they're so lovely. They've just blown me away. I've got the worst job oh, man. in the world right now. You do have that look of dread in your eye, yeah. and it is time for you to make your decision. OK. So, Melanie, who do you want to sing again later on in the final? Who is the winner of the battle? <sighs> OK. <laughs> you got this, Mel. OK. You got this. I didn't think I'd last this long, actually. Um, <laughs> you know, I love you all. We love you. <laughs> yeah. um, and I know you're all going to go on to do incredible things. But the singer I'm going to take through to the final... <laughs> ..is Torin. <laughs> There's a real mix of kind of a happy laugh and I'm hoping a happy cry yeah. as well. I just feel so lucky, so thank you so much. <laughs> Torin, everyone. Hey, Torin. Hello. Our very first meeting at the Blind Audition. How was that day for you? When you turned for me, it was like the best feeling ever, so thank you so much. <laughs> Emotionally, the, your performance, it really touched me. I'm so pleased I turned for Torin. I absolutely adore her. I love her voice, and what a great person. I've chosen a song, Erlang Lang Syne. Oh, and there's something about Erlang Lang Syne which just resonated with me for you. I know there's a Scottish heritage. Yes, with dad. my dad. As soon as you said it, my dad yeah. popped into my head. <laughs> the song actually means a lot to me. Have a little listen. As we were having a little listen through, I noticed she became quite emotional. And it was at that point when I realised that this song obviously means a lot more to her than I ever realised. You OK? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. It's an emotional song, isn't it? You OK? Do you want a minute? Yeah. <laughs> My wife was Scottish. Uh, she passed away three years ago and she loved New Year. <laughs> the song has a very special place for us. She will do everything to make this song special. It's emotional um, for me, but at the same time, it's really lovely to think that it's for a reason and that I'm singing it for someone very special. OK. You OK? Yeah, it kind of hit me a bit, but I feel like it's kind of um, meant for me. It's, there's a reason for it, kind of something from above. I think it's actually going to be something very, very special. When Torin began to sing, I couldn't help but well up. The way she delivers it is so beautiful. All we can do to improve on that is just more you. The song, it's meant to be. I like to think that Torin's mum is watching. Hopefully she's up there with David Bowie and Prince and George Michael having a party. Uh, she would definitely be loving every second of this. You know, maybe it's destiny that she sings this song. Oh, God.
Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it so much. Well done. Thank you so much. Danny. Um, I can hardly speak because like, I felt every emotion that you were delivering there. It was amazing. The torrent tone. Yeah, the <laughs> Thank you. Tone. Like, you did so well to deliver that performance. You should be so proud of yeah. yourself. Thank you. And I felt it. I felt it. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Amazing. Pixie. Torrent. Little quirky runs. Every time you do one, I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's so amazing. And the emotion and the connection. And then when you got up there and you were smiling, you were in the zone, it was just so special. Well, the reason why I love that performance is because you chose a song that I've heard a trillion times. And I never thought that you can really reimagine that song up until this moment. It's the, your taste of notes where I'm transfixed, like, wow, that was really, really good. Thank you very much. So, thank you for that. Now, oh, well, I can't believe I've actually held it together. <laughs> I might go in a second. Um, Torin has just this incredible ability, and you are always positive, you are always smiling, and then when you sing, it's like from the depths of your soul, and we feel it, you know, and I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> I'm yours. <laughs> um, everybody in the room felt that performance, but I think none more so than your dad. Yeah, I, I heard the song a trillion times too, and uh, she took it to another level. Uh, I'm so proud of you, and I'm a number one fan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll I'm number two. <laughs> I can now reveal that the winner of The Voice Kids 2021 is... Mel, welcome to the show, and <laughs> you're the winner. Do you know what? I, I can't take any credit for this. This is all down to Torin. You thoroughly deserve this. You need to have a music career because young women need role models like you to look up to. I'm so proud of you. Well done. It's a lot to take in, but how does it feel? It just feels totally incredible. And thank you to Melanie, because I wouldn't be here without you. And Dad, how are you feeling? I wish I'd dressed better. <laughs> uh, amazing. <laughs> I'm very proud of her. She's amazing. <laughs> <laughs>